everyone. So recently I'm trying out the time interval photo shooting and try to convert it into a 4K time lapse while further testing the low light manual shutter speed and ISO setting as I'm still trying to learn more about those stuff as well as color grading in post process. And just thought to share the result in this video as a reference. Just in case that if you haven't tried out the low light photography yet, this video might give you some idea on the setting and what the end result may look like and probably save you sometimes if you are new to this like me as I find that creating time lapse or worse hyperlapse is very time consuming especially in post process stabilization and color grading as a wrong initial camera setting will give you a bad image to start edit with not to mention while flying the Mavic Mini during night time the mosquitoes are celebrating in joy as they had a free flow buffet. As for the stabilization part, taking still time lapse photo is very much depending on the wind, accuracy of GPS or bottom vision sensor. So a slight movement will be very much noticeable. As my only editing software back then, Filmora 9, stabilization could not stabilize the video properly. So I had to find another alternative software that can do a better stabilization work and I found that Adobe After Effects stabilization is much more customizable and the result looks promising in some of the YouTube video I've seen. I give it a shot and took me 2 days to learn how to use Adobe After Effects stabilization as a first timer and the result is much better than Filmora. Not perfect yet as I'm still slowly learning onto it. Thanks to all those tutorials in YouTube that I get to learn from and a special thanks to one of the social group buddy, Ajis Saleh, for providing some stabilized tips. The sample video will be focusing on the shutter speed of 0.25 second, 0.5 second, and 1 second, with one step different on the ISO value. I'm not a professional or rather experienced in this field, especially in color grading, so the end result after color grading might looks awful. Google and YouTube has provided me with most of the guide. Other than that, it has to be experience, trial and error, practice makes perfect, isn't it? I will welcome any constructive comment that can help me and the others to improve. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all my subscribers. Your support really meant a lot to me. Thank you for giving me a chance to grow in YouTube. Feel free to subscribe to my channel as I will be sharing all the things I've learned and related to Mavic Mini. The reason I choose photo time interval is because as we know that the highest photo resolution or pixel count the Mavic Mini can handle is 4000 times 3000 pixel on a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. With those pixel count, if my understanding is correct, I can actually convert those still image into a 4K video resolution of 3840 by 2160. That gives me a little bit of extra room for adjustment and cropping into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio while preserving the resolution quality. Aside from pixel or resolution, if we want to create a light trail effect video with the Mavic Mini, we need a longer shutter speed to achieve that. With the video menu setting, I don't think the shutter speed is enough to do that. Each of the sample consists 100 pieces of images with the same 2 second interval time shot. If you are wondering where is the setting for the interval time shot, in the Fly App main interface, tap on this icon, choose photo and tap on the time shot. Then select your desired duration, example 2 seconds. After that, tap on the shutter icon on the Fly App interface or the remote control photo shutter button and it will start to snap photo automatically every 2 seconds or according to your selected duration. To end the interval time shot, simply tap the shutter icon on the app or press the remote control photo button again. The shutter speed will be located at the bottom right corner. Click this icon to switch to manual. If you choose the 2 second interval, the longer shutter speed will be limited to only 1 second, which will be my time lapse footage sample in a while. 3 second interval will limit to 2 second shutter speed. 5 second interval and above will allow the longest 4 second shutter speed available for the Mavic Mini. It all depends on what is the subject, 
scene and outcome you wish to achieve. So let's take a look at the first non-color graded sample with 0.25 second shutter speed and ISO at 100. I purposely did not put one photo per frame, that's why it looks choppy, just to increase the duration of the sample video, otherwise the 100 pieces images will only last 4 seconds with a 25 frame per second output. If you notice, there are too much noise especially on the sky, flaring everywhere. So I probably could make myself a conclusion that ISO 800 is not suitable with the current lighting condition. If we just focus on the shutter speed, you will notice that there is a slightly short light trail on the moving vehicle. Now let's take a look at the second non-color graded sample with 0.5 second shutter speed and ISO 400. This one looks better than the first sample. The sky is not flaring, but this part here still looks noisy to me. For my standard, maybe I can just accept it. But now I know that, next time I will reduce the ISO. As for the light trail difference, it is longer now and looks much better than the first one. And the last non-color graded sample, with 1 second shutter speed and ISO 200. The sky still looks a little bit noisy to me, but I think it's manageable. The light trail is much longer now. I believe there is no standard setting for low light shooting because it all depends on the current scene lighting intensity. So that's about it for the non-color graded sample. The next sample will be after color graded. I used the image of 0.25 second shutter speed and ISO 800 as a base and apply the same color graded preset with Lightroom Classic to all the samples. I know I shouldn't be doing that, just a curiosity to see how it looks like by maintaining everything the same except for the camera setting and to keep the colors identical for the purpose of this video. Again, it may look awful and possible overdoing it. It's kind of like a new chapter to me. So there you go. receive some comment on how to improve or any tips to make it much better. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.